My name is Ryan, and you're watching RJR Productions. Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making the Darksaber, as seen in The Mandalorian, with a blade. Let's get into the build. But before we do, it's really important that I ask you to subscribe, because right now we're very close to 4,000 subscribers, and also earlier in the year I set a goal for if we get to 5,000 before the end of the year, then I'll be doing a helmet giveaway. So I don't think we're gonna hit it. Maybe you guys can prove me wrong. Let's find out. With that out of the way, now we can get into the video. So right now we are starting off on the Darksaber build and I'm gonna have this as like my main support throughout the blade. So I drew up a paper pattern. So let me go show that to you. So here's what the pattern looks like. It's roughly around, so the whole Darksaber is supposed to be like 90 centimeters long and I cut off 10 inches for the handle, so it's just 90 centimeters minus 10 inches. I'm not gonna do the conversion, but that's pretty simple to do. So that's how long it is. Just make sure that you like cut the end. So I'm gonna go make this three times on cardboard. And also, I don't have big enough pieces of cardboard. That's why I'm doing like a sandwich layer. Just on the last layer, make sure that this extends by like five inches. So I'll be back once I have that done. So here I have the three layers of the blade of the Darksaber all done. You can see, that the main top and bottom layer are the exact same and I just need to cut a channel out right here so that this piece can fit in there. And then for the middle layer, I did a double stack. So you can see they're two separate pieces so they're just gonna get glued together. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is just cut out the channel, make sure that on the edge pieces, it doesn't go all the way through. It just covers like on the inside edge and then I'll cut back once I have that done. Alrighty, so I am back with some more progress on the Darksaber. Pretty much what you can see is I've glued it all together and also I have trimmed a little bit of material off of the top layer, leaving the middle layer a little bit longer on each edge than the edge layers. And what I'm doing right now is covering up the main dowel. And you can see on this side, the dowel pretty much runs all the way from up here to here. So pretty much what I'm working on right now is I have this piece where you can see I've cut a nice little groove out of it. So pretty much what I'm going to do is glue this on over this pipe or the dowel to where it lines up nicely and creates like the, you know, the smooth gap. So hopefully that'll work nicely. I did it on the other side and it worked pretty well. Just make sure that this channel runs pretty much the same length as the dowel. So I'm going to go ahead, glue this on, trim it up, and then I need to add a trim all the way around the edge here. So we'll have a place to put the white material. Pretty much what I'm working on right now is just cleaning up that grip area. So I'm adding some of those pieces to the sides and then I just trim it away with my knife. Make sure that it's all flush on the sides so you can actually wrap it with another piece of cardboard and it won't be like obviously bad that you can tell that there's a segment missing there. Just make sure that your bevel on the blade also looks nice because that's the most crucial part. You won't be seeing the handle as much as the blade. So just keep that in mind once you're building this. I just made sure to keep those edges nice and clean and then the handle was wrapped. So right here we have the blade for the dark saber, pretty much all completed. You can see that it's the three layers thick and the top and bottom layer, except for the middle layer are both beveled. They kind of have like an edge that's missing. So you're probably noticing that this is not going to light up, which is right. But actually what I'm going to do is I bought some reflective tape, like stuff that's on like those safety vests and stuff. And that's gonna be for where all the white is. So I'm gonna put like all like the veins across it or whatever it is. And then the whole edge is going to be white. So that'll give it like when you shine a really bright light on it, it'll reflect a lot of light and look like it's glowing. I pretty much just need to make the handle so this blade can plug into it and then I'll be able to swing it around. One thing I've also noticed is that this thing's actually pretty wieldy, you know. It, it definitely cuts through air. So once it's done, it should be pretty fun just to mess around with. I mean, even as it is right now, like it doesn't make any sound. When you swing it in the air, it still sounds pretty cool. And this is the moment when I realized that maybe a wooden dowel isn't the best option for a sword. And if you're wondering what the sound is, it's the blade breaking in half. So I was just messing around with it, testing how strong it would be, and it actually broke. So don't use a wooden dowel. I'm gonna actually use some wires and twist them together try to open this up, maybe not make it that messy, but hopefully be able to pull this out and then reattach it because I do not want to remake this, but I might have to. I ended up going with the latter option. All ready to go.
Now the grip is all nice and trimmed up. So here you can see the blade for the dark saber is pretty much all complete. And this is not the finished handle. I'm going to be building the handle around this. But what I'm going to do right now is take this whole thing and go ahead and paint it like a satin black color. So the reason why I don't want it to be too shiny is as you can see, it doesn't light up. So the way I'm gonna do that is you're gonna have to take a photo of it with your flash on and you'll be using reflective tape for that. So I have this pack of reflective tape and pretty much what you do is I wanna make it go along the whole edge and then when you take a photo of it with your flash, then you'll be able to see that like white edge that's like very bright. So that should look really cool. Just make sure to not paint this thing too shiny. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this up. Then I'll be back to make the handle. So you haven't seen much of the handle right now, but pretty much this is where I'm at for that dark saber. So this is, this long edge is 10 inches long and the short edge is nine and a half inches long. And pretty much I have it set up to where this blocker is right where the base of the blade would set so you can see the blade would kind of just sit in there like that and go all the way up to that edge and that's what it would look like from the outside edge so the handle that you saw in that last clip actually isn't the handle that i used in the final build because i realized it was a little bit too short it was 10 inches on the long side and the one i made today was actually 11 and a quarter inches on the long side I just feel like it looks proportionately better. It's a little bit longer, the whole sword, than 90 centimeters, but I think it looks good. It still follows the same principles of having the walls added on and then that little border to stop the thing from going in too far. Also, make sure that when you're joining the seams, just cut a little slit and peel up the cardboard so you will hide the seam with the actual cardboard, which is very nice. And it's not that difficult to do. It's a very nice trick to have in your books. The next piece I started working on was the bottom. So I just started working on the bottom and then once I had that on, then I worked on the hand guard. So the hand guard, I took a piece of cardboard and cut into it at an angle so it would slip over the whole piece and fit onto it at kind of like just under a 45 degree angle. And then you add the vertical wall to that. So here's what the dark saber is looking like right now. You can see I've got the guard on. So now I need to add all the details down here and then a the couple of details up here and then we can go outside and paint it up. The first details I started working on were those four little buttons towards the top. So I took a big rectangle of cardboard. It's not really big. It's just big in the size of a lightsaber. And then I cut little notches in it so it would kind of be divided up into four segments. And then I glued on small little boxes onto each of those segments to make it fit together. And then after that, I started working on some of the smaller details like the lines across the whole thing. So I cut out a bunch of thin lines that are probably like an eighth of an inch thick. And I wrapped those all the way around the bottom and I did approximately maybe like six towards the bottom. And then there were the strips that went across to the top. Here in the next clip, you'll be seeing a little bit more about those strips. So right here, you can really see, I'm just fleshing out all the details. Like I'm working on these bands. So I did all the ones that go around the bottom and now I'm doing the ones that go in this middle area. So I have this piece all detailed out and it's gonna kind of sit in that ridge so I'm pretty much just gonna glue it on one side, wrap it around, and then make it go to the other one. And then there's one more inside of that. And then I just need to continue these strips up here. And then we can actually work on the small detail down here and then paint it. So here's the finished dark saber handle. You can see I've got all these nice details on and all the lines are on as well as a small little block at the bottom. It was pretty simple to build. It only took me a couple hours to do. And the blade fits in it really well. So now, I'm gonna go paint this with like a primer color because that's pretty much what it is. And then I'll bring it back inside, we'll do some weathering, and then we can put the tape on this to make it shiny. Now it's time to take this reflective tape and put it on the edge of the blade. So pretty much wherever it's not on the top layer. And then I'm gonna go back through and add like the veiny lightning texture on it with some more of the tape. The roll of tape I had was around an inch thick, or wide I should say. So I pretty much had to attach it to the side and then fold it over. And this type of tape is not like your traditional duct tape. It's a little bit more sticky than that, if you can imagine that. And also once you're peeling, you have to peel off the back to expose the sticky side. So just keep that in mind. Pretty much all you have to do is just put it all the way around the edge and then add a bunch of little like lightning bolts on it to make it look like the veins on the blade. Now I'm back in from painting the hilt. So now all that's left to do is just weather it. So I'm going to be taking some black paint with a paintbrush, putting it in all the crevices, and then immediately wiping it away with a paper towel so the black paint will stay in all the crooks. 
but it should still look really cool. So yeah, that's pretty much all we gotta do. And the blade is completely finished. So let me show you a sneak peek of that. You can see that it looks really cool, especially under my desk light, how it kind of just like glows. It looks like there's an absence of color and it's just light, which looks really cool considering there's no electronics in this. It's just, it's just reflective tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and weather the hilt and then I'll get on to showing you some photos at the end. Now with this step, I did not anticipate how dark the eventual hilt would be, but I'm actually really happy with how it looks. I just went and took some black paint, put it on my paintbrush, rubbed it all over the thing, and then wiped it off with a paper towel. And then after a little while, I went in with some silver paint and did dry brushing over all of the edges. And with a quick look there, you can see the hilt of the dark saber is all nice and weathered. Pretty much all I did was go up here and paint these like this straight silver. Then I did that black wash over the whole thing and then dry brushed the edges. I'm really happy with how this turned out. So now I can put in the blade, dim the lights, shine a light on it, and it'll look like the real thing. With everything else all done on this Darksaber build, that is it. That is how I made it. So now let's cut to some B-roll. Thank you for making it all the way through my video on how to make the dark saber from cardboard. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking down below and even subscribing. It would really make my day. You can also add some comments on what you think I should make next. This was a really fun build to do. I hope you guys make it as well. With that out of the way, this has been RGR Productions signing off till next time. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, here's another video that YouTube thinks you'll like from my content. You can also click on my logo to subscribe. Please do it. Please. I'm watching you, Brandon. Alright, bye.